as a child, I didn't spend very much time developing my art side. So, and I'd, I'd had always been creative, I just didn't make things. And I just had this urge, and I, I used to think it was anxiety. I used to think that I just had all this pent up, you know, energy and didn't know how to release it. And then once my mother told me to go take an art class, I realized that I, I had found some way to express myself um, and actually to release a lot of this, what I thought was nervous energy. And then it just ended up being creative energy. I had a weird year in uh, 2009. My parents had just gotten divorced after 30 years of being married. And then um, my mother was diagnosed with breast cancer. And um, she did chemotherapy and then radiation and lost her hair immediately. Um, and instead of going through the treatment and losing her hair slowly, what she did was she ended up cutting it all off and then shaving her head. I watched as she made that decision that she wanted to live every day to the fullest. So I saw that and I thought, you know what, if I was going to live every day to the fullest, what would I do? And so I left my job. I took a leap of faith and I thought that, you know, if this is her last six months to live, I want to be there and I want to do as much as I can to be with her. So I started making her hats and caps and little things that she could wear to keep her head warm. and. She loved them, and it got more attention as I started making more hats. My friends loved them, her friends loved them, and I started selling a couple here and there. And the more I got into it, the more fun it became. Once I started making the hats, it just it felt so right. It felt good. It felt. Um, I always say that it pings, like I just felt like I could do anything. It was that feeling of being in the groove of doing what's right. I need to be doing things and I'm an active person. My true self was really uh, a creative designer and using that energy to kind of make beautiful things kind of, it, it made me happy and it made the people that I was making things for very happy. I mean, I wear everything to the side exhibition. I think it's all cool and sexier. There's a tremendous amount of joy that comes from seeing somebody transform or come to life um, wearing something that I made. I suppose it was my love for my mother that really enabled me to follow my passion and to spread the joy of my craft.